Toilets in a submarine, or a head as they're called, are extremely important. You may have to stay underwater for a long period of time, and that means when you need to go, you've got to go. And there has to be a way to get rid of all that going when you're all done. In 1945, off the coast of Scotland, U-1206 was forced to surface because the captain used the toilet. It was a smelly situation they were in, but it was history that should not be forgotten. Welcome to the History Book. Short snippets of history which are odd or lesser known, and I try to keep videos at five to seven minutes long just enough to keep your interest and that you can move forward with the rest of your day. If you do like the content, consider subscribing. And if you really do like the content, please consider getting on board with our Patreon account. Every dollar helps out with the channel. So thank you so much. Here's the rest of the video. The high-tech toilet that actually destroyed a submarine is very true and very quirky. The U-1206 was commissioned on March 16th. 1944, it was a Type 7C U-boat. This type of U-boat was equipped with a new type of toilet that was designed to allow the submarine to dive deeper and avoid Allied attack. It was a very complicated, high-pressure valve system which required actually special training to use it. After Captain Carl Adolf Schlitt and the crew received its assignment, they trained with their U-boat for the rest of 1944. In early 1945, they were sent on training patrols in the North Sea, after which they were finally ready for the real thing. Their first and only patrol started on April 6, 1945, and lasted only eight days. They left from Christiansen, Norway, heading towards the British islands in search of Allied shipping, as you could imagine. All went well until April 14, 1945. A crew member, reportedly the captain, used the head, or as it is known, a toilet, and he had trouble operating it. An engineer was called to help, and he apparently opened the wrong valves on such a complicated system. This caused water to enter the submarine, which flooded forward compartments and then the batteries. Uh, that in turn caused highly poisonous chlorine gas to form in the U-boat, leaving Captain Schlitt with no other option but then to service the ship. Unfortunately for the Germans, they were very close to the Scottish coast, and they were quickly spotted. Being unable to enter the U-boat and dive because of the chlorine gas, the crew was frantically blowing clean air into the U-boat when they were spotted by Allied aircraft. Captain Schlitt decided to let the U-boat sink. This ended his first and only combat command. So what was the outcome? Well, three crew members drowned when the U-boat went down. 37 crew members were rescued and entered captivity. However, by then, World War II was nearly over. Again, I hope you enjoyed this content. We think it's important to keep war history alive, and no matter how much it stinks, please consider becoming a supporter. And now you know your history.